it's going to be a gray text uh, question mark now. Like just like uh, Wow has it where uh, it's a gold question mark when you're done and then when you're doing work for them it's gr it's gray. So we're going to change the question mark to be gray. Um, and we've just set the quest tag for this quest for this player to equal for this player for zero for quest zero. So uh, so it's just I mean I could have I could have destroyed the old text tag created a new one doing all these all these things again and setting it, but this just saves time. If you do make a new, a new, uh, a new text tag on a different guy, though, you do have, oops, sorry about that. You do have to uh, remake them. And uh, yep, so we got we've set the new quest. This, and I'm probably gonna make mistakes uh, once we go in game and test because there's a lot of objectives. There's a lot of little finicky things that you probably forget uh, while you're doing it here. So we display a message. We set their value to zero so they can't get this again. Uh, we destroy their objective, and now we need to actually create a new one. So I'm gonna copy this old stuff. I'm actually going to copy all four actions from the old thing and just paste it in below here. So we want to create a new active primary objective with kill three zerglings. And then we can do description the zerglings are to the northeast. Okay. And we'll set the player to player group and change this to instead of one, make it unit, unit I mean owner of triggering unit and do the same for this unit owner triggering unit so now these both both of these are for the proper player if player two entered here um, and let's see variable set quests for player one this is going to be quest one so keep in mind that we're starting the quest numbers from zero so the first quest is called quest zero which is this one you get here and the second quest is actually quest one and you don't have to do that by any means I mean you could you could have set this to be one one and then here it would be one two uh, well, that's ironic because that's my YouTube name, but uh, anyways, uh, like you could do it that, that way or you could do it this way. Um, I'm just keeping that this way to save space, I guess, to start from zero because it's already in memory anyway. Um, so we've set that objective, we've shown it. Uh, what else do we do here? Oh yeah, and we need to do this. So we need to set the quest values for player, unit, owner, triggering unit for quest one and value zero is already already we can use value one now we'll set this to equal one and then we'll do this again and we'll do value two to equal three so what this means is that this is the number of zerglings we have to kill left to kill and this means that we're still in the process of doing it so when when they complete all three they can head back to this guy and this will get set to zero so they're done with this quest sort of like we did it with with this thing here so this one's our actual counter, and this one's just our progress. So we know not to give them this quest again. And okay, so we got that. And now we need a new trigger Oops, for when you kill the Zergling. So new quest one Zergling death update update one. So I'm putting update one because this trigger will update quest one. That's, that's what it's going to do. That's all it does here just to keep track. So uh, the event is when unit dies, uh, any unit dies, and then condition, make a new one, and we want to check that, actually we'll leave the owner of trigger unit is 15, copy paste, actually make a new and thing in here, drag both of these under the end, and then change the second one, click on the left bracket here, and change it to be uh, unit u unit type of unit where's unit type of unit there so we want to change the check that the unit type of the dying unit which is the trigger unit equals equals um, zero claim. okay and then we also want to check that copy that that the quest values for the owner of the trigger unit for quest one for value I believe it was one yeah one 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 so owner of trigger unit one one is equal to one meaning they have this quest um, and then we also want to check that they're heroic so the actually well you you might not want to do this if you had like summoned units or something but I'm gonna do it just to be safe here so the killing unit is a heroic for player owner of killing unit because um, if you did have summoned units and they were getting kills for you then you wouldn't want this whole entire thing to be ignored 
um, so you could you could you could avoid this action if you wanted. And um, what I'm going to actually show here is sharing the quest too. So um, what I'm going to do actually I'm going to have to move this. Sorry about that. Um, when I first made my quest system for my RPG, it was on a per player basis, meaning and only one player. So if a player killed a zergling and another player who had the quest was nearby, it would only go to whoever got the kill. And I realized right in testing that I was like, oh, well, what about if two players are doing the same quest, they should be sharing the kills. So I had to change it, and I'm going to show here the changed version where that actually shares quests, kill quests at least. Like you don't want to share this because it's a certain one player getting this quest. You don't want to share this because it's up to the person who gets it, but you do want to share when a zergling dies because somebody could be nearby doing the quest and then they deserve to get the points for it probably. I mean, I'm not doing a party system here. I mean, that's way too complex, but this is a simple way to just share kills that people get. So let's do a new action, unit group, pick each unit in unit group, and pick each unit and change the last created units to be unit group, units in region matching condition, any units in entire map, change it to convert circle to region. Click on the left brackets beside point here, change it to unit, position of unit, position of the dying units, trigger unit is fine, with a radius of 10, meaning 10 units outside from the point of where the unit died, anyone within that will get will get the quest update. Owned by player, any player with um, heroic required. Okay. And with that most, any mount. And then we're gonna do another, do an if can, if then else action inside this pick each unit. So we're gonna pick each heroic unit within ten of this dying unit's spot, and we're gonna check that 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 the quest value at the owner of the picked unit, meaning that for each unit that we check, for each hero that we check within range, if that if the quest values for the hero for one one is equal to one, meaning they're at this stage of the quest, meaning they have to kill zerglings we're going to um, display a text message. So we're going to display, you have, oh, I should do this, uh, combined text, sorry. You have, actually, I'll just do it this way. Um, four zerglings left, so it'll be a conversion right away, convert integer to text, and then the variable, and the change it to variable quest values. Change the first thing to be function unit. So I'm going very fast here, but this is very basic stuff. Owner of the picked unit that I've done a million times. Um, anyways, so the quest values, owner of the pick unit um, for quest one, for value uh, two, I think, was it? Yeah, two is the number that they have left. Um, so it'll be like three zerglings left. Four, and then changes from all players to convert player to player group, player group, unit, owner, and changes to picked unit. Okay, beautiful. So I'm going to pick all the heroes that are in range of the death. I'm going to check that they're on this quest, and then if they are, we're going to display a message to them saying this: you have this many zerglings left for you. Um, so the downside of this is that if somebody's nearby just like stealing experience by just hanging around you, then the system unfortunately rewards that. Um, but there's obviously ways to deal with it probably, but that's not really my biggest worry right now. Um, the other thing we want to do is update the objective text. So objective, set objective text, and this is where it comes in handy to store everything, because we can just go like this. So quest for which player? For the owner of the picked unit, so each hero, and quest one. And what did I make the text? Kill three zerglings. So let's do a function, combine text, kill, space, okay. And then we need to do another another combine, kill, space, uh, conversion. And then click on the zero, change it to quest values. And yes, I know this is tedious once again. <sighs> um, that's why RPGs take so long to make. And that's why mine's been sitting on my hard drive since April. Um, so we set it for the owner of the picked unit. Um, uh, let's see, quest one. Oops. And trust me, I've made a lot of mistakes over. Like I've, I think I have ten or twelve quests done like this, and I've put little, like random little wrong numbers in there that I'll find in the middle of testing. 
and I'll be like, why is my Zergling counter not going down? And then you got to go back and figure out like where these random little mistakes were made. Um, value 2. So kill 3 and then space Zerglings. And uh, let's see. What else do you need to do? I think that's all we need to do. Oh. We need to do this. Um, actually, I should have done this. We have to change it. Never mind. Copy pasting didn't really save me any time. We need to modify uh, quest values. Function unit owner of the picked unit for quest 1, value 2 to be minus 1. So it subtracts 1, then it tells you you have two Zerglings left if this was the first one you killed. And then it says kill two Zerglings in your quest thing. And now we need to do another if if uh, if statement. And in here, we check. Um, actually, we should do this before, meaning that um, if this got to zero, it's not going to display this stuff. So that would that'd be kind of ugly if it was saying kill zero Zerglings. That just wouldn't look very good on the text. So um, and so just just to cover myself ahead of time. I'm just going to put skip remaining actions right here. Um, or actually, um, that's not what I want, or is it? I don't know if this will skip the rest of the loop, but if we break, terminates a loop. Well, I'm going to put skip remaining actions, um, but if you find, like say there's five of five heroes on the map that got the, that, that, that were in range when the Zergling died, um, if this skips when the first one gets it, if it skips all the rest, then you should remove this. But I think this will skip the rest for this thing, and then it'll go to the next unit and go through here, go through here. So I think this is okay having this here. Um, and it's just to prevent these two stupid messages from displaying when when you're in fact done the quest. So now we subtract one, and then we want to check if value two is equal to zero. And you should actually do is less than or equal to zero. Um, because if they have some AOE spell that kills like five units at once, it might it might trigger this all at once. So I don't know. Just to be safe, less than or equal to zero. Then what we're gonna do? Where's the variable? Copy paste uh, this thing, and make sure you put it before the skip remaining actions. Otherwise, these will all be skipped. Um, set quest values owner of picked unit. Quest value one. Value quest one value one to equal zero so that they can't uh, get this anymore they can't go in here and then what else do we need to do we need to display uh, click on the outside bracket here change it to value return to the immortal okay perfect and then we also need to update the objective text set quest owner put unit one then we click on the outside bracket and just be value return to the immortal. Okay, and you know you could you could update the description too if you needed to, but I'm, I don't need to in this case. Um, and then we also need to update the uh, text tag to be uh, golden question mark. So we need to set the color of text tag. Set the text color of variable quest tags for player uh, unit owner of picked unit um, one to equal this gold color perfect so you're gonna have this gold question mark above his head so you know to go to him and uh, what we need to do now is to set quest values three. So we're getting out of running out of close to space here, so you might want to increase this to four, maybe, I don't know. Um, because I'm on the last value now, but I think that's all I need to equal one. So now uh, we've turned on this next part, which means that our when you come in range of him to finish to return the quest to get your reward, um, this will be set to zero. So this is our checker for the next thing. Like when you first get the quest, this is your checker and then checks it here and sets it to zero once you get it so you can't come back in here and then this one will do the same thing with this thing so you can't get this quest so this quest won't keep popping up after you finish killing zerglings 